what's going on guys you already know it's your boy m to the a to the c to the k a y vibes i'm back again with another video today 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 i'm going to be talking about afcon you know what i'm saying the results for um no not sunday the results for monday and the results for yesterday tuesday and then we also have some matches coming up tomorrow i think ivory coast and egypt and then we have uh, let me see tomorrow we have ivory coast egypt and then we have mali and equatorial guinea so please guys before we actually go any further if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do me a favor go down below and click that subscribe button and also the notification bell beside it make sure you click it so you get notified whenever i post videos thanks for that so let's get straight to the video there are a couple of things i want to say about the matches that were played yesterday so first of all senegal and cape verde let's talk about the red card <laughs> Do you guys think the the Cape Verdean goalkeeper deserved that red card? Let's talk about this, right? Let's analyze the foul that the referee gave a red card for, right? Okay, fine. There was a collision between the goalkeeper, what's his name? Um Trent Day, right? So there was a collision between him and Mane. There was a collision between their goalkeeper and Trande and Mane of Senegal, right? In my own opinion, I don't think that deserved a red card. Let's be honest, because it was a collision. It was more of an accident than an intentional foul to me. If you think if you think otherwise, signify in the comment section, let's talk about this. You know what I'm saying? And um yeah, I don't think the it was intentional by the goalkeeper. Maybe the referee might have seen it in a different way, but when I kept watching, you know what I'm saying? When I kept watching the clip, I kept watching it, the replay and all that. I just, mm -mm, I wouldn't, if I was the referee for the day, I wouldn't have given the player a red card. No, that's not possible. But I guess the referee saw something else and it was more of a collision. How is that a red card? How? How? Even the referee, I mean, not, not the referee, the goalkeeper, it looked like he had a little bit of concussion. It looked like he had, I'm talking about after the collision, right? It looked like he had um, concussion, right? Because it, it's like he wasn't really aware of where he was at that time. So why would the referee even give that a red card? In my own opinion, it's not a red card. Like I said, if you think otherwise or if you agree with me, let me know in the comment section. Drop your comments down below. Let's talk. Let's interact. Now... Let's talk about the overall performance of both teams, right? Senegal and Cape Verde. So, of, okay, of course. <laughs> Senegal had a higher ball possession uh, than Cape Verde, right? So, Senegal, they had 64% of possession. And Cape Verde, they had 36%, right? Yeah. Of course. Of course. Shots on, on target. Senegal, they had four. Cape Verde, one. Shorts, 16. They outclassed Cape Verde. <laughs> They had uh, Senegal at 16 and Cape Verde at just two shorts. Okay. Pass accuracy, 83%. And uh, Cape Verde, they had 65%. So, two players out of the Cape Verdean team got a red card. So, they were playing with nine players against Senegal. Yeah, that's... Yeah, of course, you're going to expect a win from Senegal. Especially when money is up front. Yeah, you're going to expect to win. So, that's that about that for Senegal. Like I say, I don't agree with the record. So, now, let's talk about... um, Let's talk about the, the second match of the day. Or was it? Yeah. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Morocco-Malawi. Morocco... Okay. Morocco is really doing well in, in this tournament, man. And now, the tournament is just getting hotter and hotter and hotter as the days go by. So, please, guys, which team do you think would win the AFCON? I predicted Nigeria before, but, of course, we all know Nigeria is out of the competition right now. So, I want you guys to go down to the comment section and put which team you think would win the AFCON. There's Morocco. Morocco is hot. Senegal, they are playing well. Um... Ivory Coast, they're having a game tomorrow, so we don't really know how they're gonna do. But Ivory Coast, it looks like they have, they have a a chance of of lifting that trophy. 
and um let's see which other team cameroon of course cameroon of course they're playing well that abubaka guy Babaga, like abubaka he does give them left right center you understand abubaka they give them left right center i think he scored in all his games right from the group stage up until you know the first match in their in the in the round of 16. He's playing well. Highest goal scorer so far with with six goals. Okay. So now let's talk about the yeah, that's that about that for Morocco and Malawi. Morocco won two one, right? Cameroon and Comoros. First of all, let's talk about the red card. You know we're going to talk about the main actions in the game. So let's talk about the actions that happen in um the Cameroon Comoros game. A player in the Comoros team got a red card do you guys think he deserved a red card for that for that tackle let me know in the comment section yes after reviewing the clip over and over again you know the replay yes in my own opinion he deserved a red card because he actually stepped on on the cameroonian players um what do they call it like the back of his feet he stepped on the back of the feet of the cameroonian player With his stored showing so yeah that deserved the record in my own opinion you know that could have even been like a, a life-threatening a life-threatening tackle trust me yeah in my own opinion that deserved the record so yeah but congratulations Cameroon they won 2-1 like I said Senegal won 2-0 Morocco won 2-1 and um Ivory Coast will be playing um today yeah it's already today so they're going to be playing today against egypt so ivory coast egypt who do you guys think will win let me know in the comments also mali and equatorial guinea will be playing today right later today oh nigeria my country nigeria my country nigeria my country man honestly speaking how i wish nigeria is still in the competition man like i it's still kind of painful of course is the pain is already it's gradually it's gradually um going away but it's, i still have a little bit of pain in me a little bit of pain in me i so honestly speaking, i wish nigeria was still in the competition man that would have just spiced things up but hey god knows best right get out of there so like i said in my own opinion the teams that i feel like they have a higher chance of winning the afcon are let's see um i'll say ivory coast they have a good team i'll say morocco they're playing well i'll say senegal okay they have money Egypt, they haven't really been playing well like that. So, but we'll see what their game will look like against Ivory Coast today. So, that will determine, you know, um, their fate in the competition. And uh, which other team is there that is doing well? Burkina Faso, um, maybe I don't know. But the three main teams that I feel like they have a higher chance of winning the Afcon are um, Senegal, Morocco, ah, Cameroon course cameroon has to be there the four main teams i feel like they have a higher chance of winning the afcon 2021 are senegal um cameroon um ivory coast and um morocco maybe burkina faso but those are the four teams let me know which teams you guys think would uh leave this trophy and yeah that's the video for today and i just wanted to uh, let you guys know the results for yesterday's matches monday's matches and you know the matches we're going to be having today later today so you guys just keep watching these matches keep enjoying yourself i will see which nigeria was still in the competition though but hey it is what it is i love you guys so much thank you for rocking with me thank you for watching my videos i really appreciate it and um I, I honestly i really appreciate all the love and support especially the love i got in my last video i really appreciate it you know thank you 
we all want africa so let's keep promoting in our beautiful continent if you haven't subscribed please make sure you click that subscribe button right now subscribe also um click on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post videos also subscribe to my second channel the link is going to be in the description so please subscribe to that because there are going to be videos coming on there soon thank you and i'll see you guys on the next one peace